Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Forbidden Light pre-release kit. This is the third pre-release kit that I've opened up on my channel recently. I've previously opened up the Ultra Prism and Celestial Storm pre-release kits. I bought this kit from GameStop for $19.99. I bought this product the same time I bought the Ultra Prism kit and I was able to get one half off. These pre-release kits include four Pokemon booster packs, an online TCG code card, a special pre-release Black Star promo, and then a 23 card evolution pack. So the plastic wrap is off of the box, give you a good look at it now. On the back you can see everything that is on the inside, of course Forbidden Light based around Ultra Necrozma. You just slide it open like so, Naganoddle on the back there, flip it open and there's everything on the inside. So here are the four booster packs of Forbidden Light, the checklist for the set, and then the 23 card evolution pack, the online TCG code card, and then the special pre-release Black Star promo, Pheromosa, Zerkatry, Malamar, and Lycanroc are the four. So the one that I'm able to pull out would be Pheromosa. You can see the set list in the bottom right hand corner of the illustration window. SM115 is the card number for this Pheromosa. Here's a look at the online TCG code card for the box. And a better look at the Black Star promo. You can find these Black Star promos pretty cheap online, usually a few dollars a piece. And then here's the rest of the Evolution Pack. Now I was not able to pull anything good from the Ultra Prism pre-release kit, but in the Evolution Pack had some very good competitive cards in there. So there's Furfru, Nest Ball, Lily, Sophocles, Scatterbug, Spoopa, and Vivian, Mysterious Treasure, one of the better trainer cards in the set, Nest Ball, another Lily, Howl, Inkay, and Malamar, Yuxi, Mesprit, and then another Mesprit. So there's a look at the 23 Evolution Pack. And the goal of this box is to give a player enough cards to build a little deck there to be able to play in pre-release tournaments. I'll start this booster pack opening off with a Greninja cover artwork pack. I would love to pull out Ultra Necrozma GX. A few different Prism Star cards in this set as well. Lots of reprinted cards from Ultra Prism, just different types. Hone Edge to start the first pack. Execute. Noibat. Magnemite, Skrelp, Water Type Energy, Mesprit, Ultra Space, Metal Frying Pan, Reverse Hollow of a Magnemite, just a common, and the final card would be a Pangoro. So 0 for 1, I was only 1 for 4 in the Ultra Prism pre-release kit opening, 1 rare Reverse Hollow, Zygarde pack now, Zygarde GX in the set, not bad. Here we go, here's a white colored code card, so at least a rare hollow in the pack. The pack starts with Froakie, Flubabe, Gibble, Clauncher, Noibat, Lightning Type Energy, Araquanid, Metal Frying Pan, Spoopa, Reverse Hollow of an Execute, just a common. And the final card would be a Xerneas GX. And this is a GX full art. With that bright pink background, it really stands out. Full art cards are tough to pull from packs. But 1 in 36 booster packs, I'll take that any day. Naganoddle pack now. Not expecting too much more out of these final two packs. Cubone to start the third one. Froki. Krogunk. Esper, Bunnelby, Fire-type Energy, Heliolisk, Floet, Poipole, Reverse Hollow of a Fennekin, a cool looking card, very off-centered though, just a common, and the final card would be a Zerkatry, and that is an Ultra Beast. Rare non-hollow though, 
So final pack here of the four. Ultra Necrozma on the cover artwork design. Could be some last pack magic here. Final pack starts with Cubone, Froki, Krogunk, Esper, Bunnelby, Fighting Type Energy, Brakeson, Deblade, Judge, Reverse Solo of an Anaporter, which is an uncommon. And the final card here would be an Empoleon, and this is a rare hollow. Empoleon, also in the Ultra Prism set as a water type card. Set that one aside. Two good cards to summarize here. Out of the four packs, was able to pull that one rare hollow of Empoleon. And easily the best pull of the opening, the Xerneas GX Full Art. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.